Hello, this video is going to cover how to install Microsoft Windows Server 2022. Let's start by taking a look at the hardware requirements. As you can see on the screen, hardware requirements are actually fairly low. All you need is a 1.4 GHz 64-bit processor. If you're going to be installing Core, all you need is 512 megabytes. If you're going to be installing the GUI, which is also known as the desktop experience, you need at least 2 GB of RAM. As far as storage, you need a minimum of 32 GB. Now these requirements are fairly low. I would recommend for a production server that you have a lot more RAM, storage, and a much more powerful processor. But either way, if your intention is just simply to test the operating system, you could set up the uh, server with these minimum requirements. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Alrighty, the Windows Server that we just booted off of the ISO image. This is a physical device boot off of a DVD optical media to get the installation started. So we first reach the uh, initial screen where we have an, uh, an opportunity to select the language or time and currency format or even the keyboard method. For us, we're just going to go ahead and accept these defaults and hit next. On this screen, you have two options. You can install now, or if there's an existing operating system installed, you could try to repair it if it's non-functional. We're doing a brand new installation, so I'll hit the Install Now button. Notice that setup is starting. In this case, you have an opportunity to choose which edition you plan on installing. Notice there's four options. There actually are two editions listed here, Standard and Data Center. These editions depend on your licensing requirements as far as what functionality you require. Under the hood, they both have the same core operating system and code base. Also notice that Standard and Data Center are listed twice. The first option standard is a core installation of standard with no GUI. If you require the graphical user interface, then option two would be your choice, which is the desktop experience. Now in the data center edition, we also have two options. Third option here listed is just data center. This, is, this would result in an installation of core, again, no GUI. If you require a graphical user interface and you want data center edition, you choose the fourth option. We're going to go ahead and do a 2022 standard desktop experience. So I'll select that one and hit next. After you've read through the applicable notices and licensing terms, go ahead and hit the I accept the Microsoft software licensing terms checkbox and hit next. Now for a brand new installation, we're going to choose custom. The first option is used typically when you want to upgrade from an older operating system. Now on this screen, Microsoft has is asking us what to do with the unallocated space. This is representing the volume that was found on the hard drive. At the moment, this hard drive represents 100 gigabytes of free space and it's unallocated. You have the option of partitioning the space into different volumes. Uh, and you can format each of these volumes accordingly. In this case, we're just gonna grab the entire 100 gigabytes of storage and we're gonna create one volume to install this operating system on. So I'll just Make sure it's selected and hit next. At this time, the operating system installation is just unpacking the files from the DVD media and getting ready for installation. For Windows Server 2022, this process should only take just a few minutes. All right, looks like we're finishing up this first phase of the installation process. We're gonna be rebooting the virtual machine in just a moment. Most of this phase of the installation process is automated. We are now prompted to create a password for the local administrator account. And you'll need to put the password in two times. Click finish when you're ready to proceed. As you can see, we've reached the desktop. At this point, the next step is to further configure the server operating system using Server Manager. 
From here, on the left side of Server Manager, you can click on Local Server. Some of the initial settings you may want to consider are changing the computer name, uh, modifying the firewall rules, potentially enabling remote desktop if you plan on accessing this, this server from a workstation, and as well as assigning a static IP address to the server. All of these things can be done from Server Manager. Of course, they can also be done from the control panel as well too. Well, we've reached the end of this video. Hopefully you got a better understanding on how to install the Microsoft Windows Server 2022. That's all for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you very much again, and we'll see you soon.